First and foremost, for everyone that does not know, what is your take in cannabis? Um, the take right now in the cannabis community is, for me, a very exciting time uh, here in Seattle because everything that's going on in the era of COVID, uh, we've now been labeled as an essential business. And so I feel like it's another level of recognition, um, especially towards the legalization on a federal level of what cannabis is. Um, the industry right now in Seattle, um, social equity is definitely a topic and something that I'm definitely here to discuss. I'm actually happy that you said social equity because I feel like, at least for me, I can't speak for anyone else, but I know for me, social equity is actually a new term. So what does social equity look like for Black people in cannabis? Um, for me, uh, social equity, cannabis social equity is like, this second wave of entrance of the state specifically, in my opinion, to integrate the BIPOC community uh, into cannabis. Uh, social equity applicants would basically uh, be license holders and or have a percentage of ownership within the cannabis industry and then also be paired with some type of social equity department like uh, our social equity task force that was recently announced and basically they would go in with the social equity applicants and basically navigate through the application process and then hopefully speaking, um, pair them with partnerships and then help them also establish their business within the industry uh, to basically help them blossom and get a head start um, basically from the first round that we, we basically didn't get into it. And so yeah. um, it's definitely another opportunity for African-Americans especially, but the BIPOC community to get involved into cannabis. 